January 2022, and we're looking at an, a review of the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro, and we're going to focus in on the application that comes with the headphones. Now, this is uh, running on a, a Google Pixel phone, and you'll need not just the application, but a plugin, which allows you to work with the Galaxy Buds Pro. Now I've already done an unboxing video where I showed you that these are a £100 plus headphones in the UK. They're of the earbuds type um, and I'm going to concentrate on the application itself. So let's just go through the application and see how wonderful it is uh, and then we're going to talk about some other very necessary things to know about these headphones. So we've got uh, different selections here on noise controls because these have uh, noise cancellationing noise cancelling <laughs> uh, they have ambient sound where the sound is is coming in uh, from the microphones and being broadcast into your ears that's what you can see now you can switch it off uh, and there's a little sound if you heard that or you can go to active noise cancellation now and you can set the level now you'll see it automatically jumped back to ambient sound why is that that's because i've got this voice detection set on so the idea is that uh, you're using the headphones you're listening to audio or music uh, let's say you're out for a run and you stop to chat to somebody and when it recognizes that you are talking then it goes automatically into this ambient sound mode so the idea is you can then have a conversation with someone without having to fiddle around the headphones uh, and after 10 seconds, it reverts back to what it, was, what it was before. Now, it's a nice idea, but there's two flaws. First of all, I found out that uh, if I'm doing athletics, it, it can, for example, in, in a noisy environment, like a noisy road, and get a bit confused and, and uh, think that you're talking when you're not. And secondly, if you do stop and have a chat with somebody, then it doesn't stop the audio. So if you're listening to an audio book, then that's a bit tragic because what you want it to do is actually pause the audio uh, if it's sort of sound, then it mutes that down and it's not so important. So yeah, could do better um, Samsung, so I think yeah, I would recommend them stop the sound in future releases of this, but currently it does not. Uh, okay, so we've got block touches. Block touches is to stop the touching of the, of the, of the size of the earbuds doing anything. But touch and hold setting. So a simple tap will start and stop. But more than that, <clears throat> the basics you're going to need if you're an athlete is to be able to keep your phone in your pocket and to be able to control at least uh, start, stop, volume up and down from your earbuds directly. So let's see if we can do that. Click on here. You'll see we can do that. You can set the left earbud to volume down and you can set the right earbud to volume up. So it, it is possible to keep your phone in your pocket and have a functioning set of earbuds. Wonderful. Now, in this case, there's a lab setting that's allowed you to double tap on the left for volume down and double tap on the right for volume up. So I've been able to associate a single touch and hold on the left to something else. Okay. So let's look at earbud settings. So in here, we've got many other facilities. The most interesting one to me is the uh, equalizer setting which only we set on dynamic uh, and then we can just talk briefly about the audio quality of these headphones is exceptional uh, there are two unit sound units two speakers in each bud an 11 millimeter and a five millimeter and that's just bonkers to absolutely bonkers uh, anyway the sound is exceptional and you can tell the sound using that equalizer so don't give me any answers about, oh, there's not enough bass boost. You can just set it here. Um, read notifications allowed. Okay, you can read that. E seamless earbud connection only works with Samsung account, so that doesn't work for me. Uh, in-ear detection. Ambient sound during calls. And the lab setting. So double tap on the earbud edge uh, and that will allow you to have this volume down and volume up. 
So that does work. Uh, my partner says you can actually double tap your earlobe instead of the, uh, the earbuds themselves. I haven't got that to work, but uh, she she swears by the fact that you can double tap the your, your earlobes instead. Um, okay, let's come out of that. Okay, uh, you've got Find My Earbuds, it, which is shared with other Samsung earbuds. So this allows you to, if you've dropped an earbud on the ground or both earbuds, then you're not sure where they are. You can go into this and it will uh, start making a beeping noise. And I have successfully used these. I, I dropped one earbud on an athletics truck or just off the track. Couldn't find it. Walked around, waited till I got the connected so I knew I was within a few meters. Then I managed to start the uh, fire my earbuds and, and, and actually found the last earbud. So that was, that was great. Um, so there we have it. That's the app. This is the kind of thing you get with a £100 plus set of earbuds. Uh, you you don't get this on, you know, sort of bargain basement earbuds. Obviously, this only works for Android phones. Samson isn't anymore in the business of providing an iOS app. Although, of course, you can just use the earbuds as Bluetooth ear, ear, earbuds and connect. Uh, it does have AAC connection, so you for, for the codec purposes, on Android, I select to have an AAC codec because... Apparently, it's a better sound. Uh, okay, so we've talked about the app. I've said it's got a fantastic sound. What else is there to know? Well, to me, the fit is a bit troublesome. So for me, the fit is average in the sense that... Um, let's just rewind. What are, you, what are you going to use these earbuds for? I'd argue if you're sitting at your desk, why would I ever use earbuds? I'd use them over the head, uh, over the... Uh, ear headphones and, and, and I wouldn't use earbuds at all. Standard headphones, standard wireless headphones. Uh, but if, if you were going to use these earbuds at your desk where there's no danger of them falling out because you're moving your head violently or you're running around uh, the countryside, then of course they're going to be fine. But for me, they don't hold in very uh, solidly. Certainly not as well as say the Anchor A1s. And that's because on the edge of the earbud, uh, you've got wingtips on many earbuds and these don't have a wingtip. They've got different sizes of earbud end, small, medium and large, but they do not have a wingtip. So for me, that means to say it's a bit of a, a miss, really. Uh, but again, the only way you're going to find this out is by ordering the earbuds from somewhere with an a easy way to return, for example, Amazon. And if they fit you well, you will have a beautiful set of sounding earbuds and the fit is not a problem if you, if you determine that these fit well. Um, I will just now go on to the, the use case for athletics and sports. So if you're an athlete or someone who's not a sedentary person, you want to be able to take these, these earbuds out and use them. Uh, for, for our family's case, we want to do uh, l l long duration sports, extreme sports. So they probably aren't the best because they don't fit in very snugly. And also the case is beautifully small, but that has a problem when you're trying to take the earbuds out and put them back in, in that uh, you could easily drop, drop the earbuds on the ground. So that's actually a problem. Now the earbuds case comes with a, so it's a five hour battery life for the earbuds themselves and a 13 hour extra battery life. Again, for athletics, you can use one earbud only. Um, so if you're in a training session, for example, then that might be advantageous. Um, and of course, you're going to have to live with the fact that you'll only be able to do, let's say, volume up, but not volume down, depending which earbud you're putting in your ear. Mm. Uh, they are nicely waterproof. I've had no problems with the with the awful British weather and these earbuds outside when it's raining. Um, and also they recharge very well. And the one ear mode means to say that for a long endurance event, you could have one earbud in your ear. The other earbud is charging in the case. And then when it gets to every five hours, you can do a swap. Uh, so that works. In terms of their stick out factor, again for athletics purposes, they do stick up quite moderately. So my benchmark is the Samsung uh, Buds Live, which is sort of bean shaped earbuds. Now they do not stick out at all and are perfect for extreme sports, but uh, these do stick out. So for endurance and extreme sports, uh, which last a long duration, I would say again, caution, 
because I would say after, let's say, 10 hours or 20 hours, you're going to find these earbuds may start to hurt your eardrums. And that's a pain that, you know, may not go away for months. So you, wouldn't, you don't actually want to get into that situation. But again, for regular users, sitting at a desk, uh, watching YouTube, you know, who cares? Um, other things to look at. Uh, I think the quality is great. Uh, I think the sound, again, is exceptional. I've had no problems using them with my smartphone uh, or, or making calls. The microphones are excellent. Uh, and I think the features of the app are excellent. So overall, I think they're a brilliant set of earbuds. The sound is absolutely exceptional. You've got to check the fit. The fit is the thing that's going to gonna let you down. And for athletics, they are less than ideal, uh, perhaps because nothing quite matches the buds live in terms of their compact form factor and not, not sticking out. It's a full fit, so you are going to get... Um, a less good fit with the Buds Pro, but check whether they fit solidly and you may still find them decent enough for athletics. Okay, Dari, thanks very much for listening.